My first business that I had was actually Cash and Carry and that was in uh, the mid 80s and what I had was a small warehouse in Bark in Essex and then eventually we bought another warehouse in Mitcham which was a second Cash and Carry for us and uh, from there I did business for so many years and carried on with it and then I decided that I needed to do something else besides Cash and Carry. Um, the majority of the people that were using our facilities were Asians and I wanted to go to an area where there was a lot of South Asians and I thought anywhere in Wembley or Southall would be perfect. One of my friends <coughs> mentioned there was a closed down film studio in Hayes and um, I went and had a look and at the time I thought you know this is perfect, perfect location. The crash happened around 2008. I then didn't know what to do with the building. I didn't know which way to take it. I thought I might put it in the market. But then one friend, then one day one, one of my friends suggested to me, why don't you run it as a film studio? We've been blessed to have some very big actors film down here. They're all big, but probably the biggest of them all is Anthony Hopkins. And uh, Anthony Hopkins filmed uh, The Father here, uh, which he won uh, an Academy Award for. And um, yeah, interesting story while he was here. Um, our receptionist told me that uh, one day he, he came up, sneaked up from behind and did his Hannibal Lecter act where he went on the back of her, she had a shock. But he's a very jokey character and he's a very nice guy and uh, we've been blessed to have him. Manhattan Gardens filmed here as well and as you can see, you can see we've got actually fake dollars, fake pounds and even the fake uh, gold bullion uh, bar down here as well. So yeah, that was filmed recently and actually even some fake jewelry at the bottom down there as well. Here at West London Film Studios we have five stages, three workshops and a lot of offices and we've also got the only hospital set, fixed hospital set in the UK. But anyway, I'm going to walk around a typical what our stage looks like and also you get an idea exactly how, well, how sets are built. So if you look around here, you'll see this typical set that's built. It's normally like a, a, a room, and what they would normally do is it will create something, for example, if this is inside of a house or inside of a palace, inside of anywhere, they create it. And the beautiful thing about this industry that I like is the fact that there are so many creative people and they can make almost anything. You know, what feels like or looks like um, marble is actually wood that's made to look like it. And, just been amazed. I mean, I've been in this business for about 15 years, and 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 what I see every day is just it, it, it's so pleasing on the eye. It's, it's, it, it makes me so happy to see in something like that. Another business that I had, which I recently sold, was Chuck 89, which was a restaurant banqueting hall, which I had mentioned earlier on. And my brand ambassador happened to be a, a Bollywood legend called Shah Rukh Khan, and. Again, another mutual friend introduced me to him and we became very close and one of the things I asked from him was if he became brand ambassador of my, of my restaurant and banquet hall, which he agreed to. So that was a, another amazing thing that's happened to me. I'm very blessed actually to meet so many uh, amazing people and to be in the industries that I am.